Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to fetch users from an API and handle the response. So we're going to handle a promise and we're going to catch any errors. So just as an example, here we've got insert user. I'm going to get some data from another location, a different URL, get that data and I get a random generated user back to us and we handle the results from down here. So we've got results and I'm just going to be extrapolating the email and putting it into the contents of our website. Okay, to save time, what I've done is I've gone ahead and created a, a really simple boilerplate, which is uh, it's just a basic HTML page. I've created two styles, which is content and user. I called in Bootstrap just to give us some some form of styling, um, and that content just basically sets everything to one hundred percent and uh, centers all of the, our items, and then user just adds a little bit of uh, margin around our element in the middle. In terms of the HTML, again, it's really basic. All we've got here is a, um, a, a the content class, uh, a user element, and then we're going to be doing something with this button. So we want to go and fetch some data when we click on this button. But right now, if, no matter how many times I click, it's not going to do anything. What I want to do is I want to open up my script, and in here I'm going to say, uh, first of all, let's get these two elements so we can handle them later on. And I'll say const user is equal to document dot query selector and what is it that i want to select i want to select the dot user class so obviously if, if this was an id you'd get element by id but we're just going to select this single element which is the user and then i'm going to knock down to a new line and i'm going to say const let's just say button is equal to document dot get uh, sorry dot query selector uh, document dot query selector and i want to select the dot button now what I'm going to do is whenever someone clicks on this button over here, I want to add an event listener that basically says um, someone has clicked on this button. So let's go button dot add event listener and watch for whenever this button is clicked. And then let's just console log um, someone's clicked. So console dot log clicked. Save. And if I click this button over here, you see we have clicked it 10 times. Okay, great. So now I want to go and fetch some data. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say fetch user. Fetch user. And I want to create this function and say fetch user. And let's just say console.log fetch user. And if I get this, it's saying fetch user. Okay, so we've hooked everything up now. We've we've got um, our user element. We've got our button element and then we're watching for any clicks on that and then we are making sure that that function is getting called so we can do some data in here. So I'm going to use an API here which is from random user and I'm just going to show you this quickly here. Random user dot me and basically if you make a, a call to random user dot me slash API it will give you a, a large object which returns a a fake user so right now is this is brad dot gibson for example so i'll link this down in the description but what we we'll want to do is i want to say fetch random user dot me slash api and then what we're going to get back from fetch is a promise so we handle that with dot den so after we fetch that user what do we want to do well, we're going to get a response so convention is to save that in a variable called res. And then this right now is just basically our promise. So how do we want to handle the promise? Well, I want you to return the, da JSON, uh, the data to me in JSON format. This right here will return the, the, the data back to us in a JSON format. And I'll show you how we can change that in a second. After we've handled that promise, what do you want to do? Well, then I want to handle the data. So I'm going to take what you've passed back to me and I'm going to store that in a variable called data and then I'm just going to console.log data. Save this, get data and right now you can see that we've fetched from this API, we've handled the response, we've returned it in JSON format, we've stored the, da uh, the data in a variable called data and then we've just logged it back to the user and now we've got a bunch of information on a, on a random user example, Henry, Henry Payne. So just to show you this is how we are handling our data, 
this res.json here, we can actually put um, text in here. And now whenever we click on get, we actually just get a, a bunch of text back to the user. We can put blob. There's a few other variations that we can put in here. However, JSON is the one that we want because we want to be able to target the elements afterwards. And we could pass it if it was text, but there's no point if, if JSON is, is a parameter that we can, or an argument that we can put on there. So what I'm going to do here, instead of console login, I'm going to actually set the contents of insert user up here. So I'm just going to say const, and let's just say email is equal to, um, you know what, let's just save that quickly. I'm going to console log the response again, load up uh, our results, so we get a results array. And then I'm just going to show you that down here, we've got Timothy Francois and you know what let's actually save the email so i'm going to take the email as opposed to the name i'm going to take the email i'm going to insert the email into the, the top up there so we know that we've got data as our object then with results we've got an array and then email so let's say const email is equal to data dot results so we're here deal with the array so take the first item because we can have more than one item come back from this and then work with the email I'm going to say, okay, now that we've got that email property, what I'm going to say is um, user, so I'm referencing up here, dot inner HTML is equal to email. Terminate that. Now what we're going to get, when we click on the button, we pull out the email and we set up here the contents of that to email. We'll get data and we have not handled that correctly so what have i done wrong so unread property our results so i put result and it should be results get data and now we have handled our response and we're putting an example user up here now obviously we could concatenate and keep on adding into this but the concept is here you, you we can now just extrapolate from this array uh, results array now one final thing before I go is how do we handle errors? Now, obviously, if this this was a fake uh, URL or didn't work and I click get, we're just going to get some form of crash and we're not going to be able to handle that. So you can also catch errors after your dot den. What you do is you add dot catch. And then again, how do you want to handle your errors? So convention is error or error or you saw error. Uh, and then you put that into a callback function. And then I'm just going to console.log the error. So if there's an error, just console log the error. I'm going to console log it. And now we get an unexpected token up here. Or you can put in your own custom errors and you can say you have an error. Get the data, you have an error. So I'm just going to reverse those steps there, save that, make sure it's still working. And it is fantastic. I hope that makes sense. If you do have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. But until next time, take it easy.